I think vocation doesn't change. It may evolve over time. I don't think it, it changes. I think the, my vocation in retirement is pretty much what it has always been. I mean, I, I think I've been called or gifted to uh, communicate the faith. Uh, I've been called to enter into uh, pastoral relationships uh, with the people I, I come across. I, mean, I, I have a, I, a number of these specific callings, w w which have not come to an end because I stopped receiving you know, pay from a, a, a church. I, I, I want to continue to do uh, what I've always done, and I, I continue to find joy in that. Uh, as John knows, I, I took a long walk in, in March. Uh, uh, I hiked the, the Camino de Santiago, and there are, there are several paths to uh, Santiago, but I, I took the, the way of St. James, the, the oldest one, so I started on the French side of the Pyrenees and hiked to Santiago de Compostela. Well, just about everybody you meet along the way uh, will tell you, I'm not religious. I'm not doing this for religious reasons. So I, I immediately fell into pastor mode for the 29 days I was on this path with, with just about every person I met. So I, I'm not a religious person. Okay. And then, but then we would talk uh, as we walked along. And as it turned out, the, the, the person I was talking with didn't see it right away. But, but every person I walked with uh, was walking for a spiritual reason. It was clearly spiritual to me. And uh, I, I, as uh, their unofficial pastor, I found that my role in those situations was to help them see that what they were doing was deeply spiritual hmm. and that they had a spiritual longing uh, and that they were doing this because they had the, the spiritual longing. Hmm. So I, I, I didn't receive any pay for having uh, walked in, as a pastor, hmm. uh, but that's what I did. Hmm. And, uh, so I've, I've been continuing my call.